These are statins. Taken daily by many Americans to help lower bad or LDL cholesterol levels in the blood. Many patients, even though their bad cholesterol has been lowered, continue to have heart attacks, strokes, and other complications from abnormal cholesterol levels. The key to preventing this is to raise the good or HDL cholesterol while lowering LDL or the bad cholesterol. Finding medications to accomplish this has been a challenge. A number of drugs have failed and other drugs have simply not been able to show an improvement in outcome. Until now, Dr. Stephen Nissen from the Cleveland Clinic and co-authors conducted a randomized controlled trial using the experimental drug Evacetropib. Almost 400 participants were given the medication alone or combined with a statin. Other participants received just statins or a placebo for 12 weeks. This new drug was able to raise levels of good cholesterol, of HDL cholesterol, by nearly 130%. The drug was also able to lower levels of the bad cholesterol, LDL, by 36%. The study appears in a theme issue on cardiovascular disease in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. It didn't raise blood pressure, which had been a concern for drugs in this class. Uh, it was very well tolerated. Uh, people did not have any uh, abnormal side effects when taking the drug. The first drug, a related chemical of Evacetropib, failed. Although the drug raised good cholesterol and reduced the bad, it also adversely affected the adrenal glands. We can now go forward and study this drug in a much larger study designed to find out whether the drug can actually reverse uh, the buildup of plaque in arteries and can also protect patients against the complications of abnormal cholesterol levels. Researchers say the goal is to add this new medication to the already powerful statin drugs available today. For patients that have, have struggled with low levels of good cholesterol, with low levels of HDL, I think this is encouraging. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.